everyone. It's George Kuros with another episode of the Innovators Mindset Podcast. It is almost the end of August when I'm recording this, and I hope you're doing well. I hope um, uh, you're getting some time to relax. I know many of you have either started school or about to start school, and I know there's a lot of uncertainty as you enter the school year, and I just actually uh, was reminded of a quote. Uh, or actually not necessarily just a quote, but a story um, from one of my favorite books, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. And it's all about giving grace and really trying to understand uh, that we don't always know uh, the picture of others. And and what does that mean? So I'm going to talk a little bit about that and also the importance of like self-grace um, through this time. So um, in the story Stephen Covey shares, it, it's about him actually being on a subway. And actually, it might not be him. It's probably a story he had heard and he had shared. And just seeing um, uh, a father with his kids and his kids were acting up and being super loud and obnoxious. And in the book, he shares a story. He says, and suddenly a man and his children entered the subway car. The children were so loud and rambunctious that instantly the whole climate changed. The man sat down next to me and closed his eyes, apparently oblivious to the situation. The children were yelling back and forth, throwing things, even grabbing people's papers. It was very disturbing. And yet the man sitting next to me did nothing. It was difficult not to feel irritated. I cannot believe that he could be so insensitive as to let his children wild, run wild like that and do nothing about it, taking no responsibility at all. It was easy to, to see that everyone else on the subway felt irritated too. So finally, with what I felt was an unusual patience and restraint, I turned to him and said, sir, your children are really disturbing a lot of people. I wonder if you couldn't control them a little bit more. The man lifted his gaze as if to come to a conscientiousness of the situation for the first time and said softly, oh, you're right. I guess I should do something about it. We just came back from the hospital where their mother died about an hour ago. I don't know what to think, and I guess they don't know how to handle it either. And I remember reading that story for the first time and just feeling this, you know, gut punch, right? And just thinking about, you know, as I grow as a, educator as a human sometimes that we jump to conclusions but we don't know the entire story and and why and why it matters and and really trying just to give others grace through this period where you know people are struggling you, we don't know the whole situation and um we don't not totally understand why they, they think something or um they're dealing with a situation in a certain way but uh, for me, one of the things I always say is always there on the side of positive, just to assume. And and my hope is that whenever you listen to this podcast or whenever I interact with people, and I'm not always the best at it, that I am a positive trajectory change in their day. That's something that I want to be. And I was thinking about this because it is important that we give grace to others, but I think also... Uh, giving grace to ourselves, even when we're pushing ourselves, um, you know, to do better things, which everyone that's listening obviously does. And I was thinking about this week. And one thing I have been struggling with, I wouldn't even say for years, I'd say, basically, my life is my weight, struggle, you know, up and down with my weight. And uh, ever since I was a kid, something that affects me, it's actually very hard to talk about. Um, but very conscientious of it. And I know that um, I, I work out quite a bit. I try to try my best to be healthy. And I say that with exercise, but I've always struggled with, you know, not maybe eating healthy and things like this. And so I've, I've, I really want to get better. And I know everyone's on a certain journey and, you know, when we deal with this, I know that um, how I feel physically affects me mentally. And so when I take better care of myself physically, I feel better mentally. And I think that for me, uh, being 45 years old, it's not just about my, it's not just about my health, uh, how I feel, but it's um, also taking care of myself because I have 
two young daughters and making sure that I get to see their major life events. And the reason that I'm sharing this with you is because I've really been working out hard, but not seeing the results that I want, trying different programs, things like this. And one of the things that I've said is, you know, I'm going to, um, I'm going to, you know, just base it on how I feel. I'm not even going to look at a scale. And I think part of it was I'm terrified to look at a scale and I'm scared of, you know, what it will say. And I got this um, Lumen device. I'm not, this is, an, this is not an advertisement. Um, maybe in six months it will be, who knows? So um, I got this Lumen device and you breathe into it and it tells you, you know, like, hey, you should probably eat this today, uh, whatever. And it's actually like, it's helpful. It's, it's really been helping me and I've been using it for a couple of weeks and kind of going through that process and I feel like I have a plan but then it asked me one day I said hey can you uh, what's your weight and I'm like Ugh. so reluctantly probably for the first time in years I got on a scale and I'll tell you I was not happy and I was embarrassed I was way heavier than what I had thought what I had kind of put in my head and it bugged me and then I said okay well here it is so this is what it is now and you have a plan and here's accountability to sticking with that plan. And so don't just do this as once, let's, let's see the progress and how you actually do. And I feel sometimes when I try to get in better shape, I get so focused on the scale, but I don't have the plan and, and then it doesn't work. And then sometimes I focus on the plan, but I don't have the accountability. And so I think both of those things are needed for me to make progress. And I'll tell you, and I'm proud of this. I've been talking about a lot about the importance of giving grace. And a lot of people are, I think it's important, you know, we're lots of mental health uh, stuff happening, especially right now with being isolated from others, uh, being quarantined, things like that, not having a regular routine and uncertainty. I think uncertainty um, is one is one thing that a lot of people struggle with, including myself, right? Not knowing, you know, when things will be back where I could travel freely, things like that. And I was really upset about that weight. And then I said, okay, this is what it is. And you can get better. You have a plan of action and you have a way to go with this. And I think that we often talk about, grace when we talk about others but i think it's also important that we give it to ourselves and we take care of ourselves and everyone's you know struggling with different things uh everyone struggling with different things and i just want to share one of my struggles and and i'll tell you that i'm not like oh like i i'm good that's it it's not how it works but i think in the past I think that if I was discouraged by something, I'd just give up. And now I'm like, hey, it's okay to be discouraged, but it's not okay to stop. It's not okay to um, quit. I got to figure out. And now I have this plan. Now I have accountability. And I feel like a weight's been lifted off my shoulders, and I hope it lasts. I think partly I'm sharing this podcast. I'm discussing this with you um, to remind yourselves uh, to give grace to others and give grace to yourself. But I also, I just want to be able to capture this and have the opportunity to like look back and see if I made progress, if I stuck to what I do. So I just wanted to share that with you because we all have different struggles. We're all going through different things. Uh, we're all trying to get better. And I think when we know that about others and we give them grace, it's better for the world. But when we know that about ourselves, um, and give ourselves that grace, I think it's it's better for the world as well. So thanks for taking the time to listen. I just wanted to share a couple quick thoughts with you. I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care.